Um, I firmly believe that it's easy to ask God for prayer requests, but we must be a faithful people who go back to God with our praises. And I do believe that, that our, our level of faith rises. I know there's different Christianese language, like our atmosphere of faith rises, the environment of faith rises. So whatever your theological supposition or temperature, I believe that we all can agree that when we witness God doing the impossible in lives, that we say, if God did it for them, he could do it for me, amen? So yesterday at the end of the service, um, I, it's just uh, yesterday morning and as I was praying uh, before I had to come speak here, um, I think praying is a generous word. I think I was kind of like wearing sackcloth and throwing up ashes, like please Jesus, don't let me suck tomorrow, this morning. <laughs> I know, did you see the lineup of speakers? I know, I was scared too, right? So um, I was praying and I was going through my word and I can't explain it, because I didn't hear an audible voice of God, but as I was going through my word, I believe that the Lord gave me some scriptures for people. So if you were here yesterday, I spoke out those scriptures and I just believed in faith that that was for someone in here. But God is so funny. Do you remember at the end of the prayer session, excuse me, at the end of the worship session, Pastor Debbie had it on her heart to lead us into a time of prayer. And there were so many women that came forward for prayer. Do you guys remember that? Like droves of us came forward for prayer, believing that God heard our cry out to him. Many of us were crying out to him. Many of us were surrendering. Many of us were thanking. Many of us were asking God, what's next? Or God, give me more. And, and some of the verses the Lord gave me, he's just so good, he's just so faithful. Yesterday, um, you know, the line was so deep. I looked at Pastor Clint and I'm like, do you need help praying? And he's just like, no, it's okay. And I look back, it's like 300 deep. And I was like, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> so I mean, my boss is Christine Kane and we're not asked to do. We just get up and do, okay? So I just, I pulled myself under the bar, like, 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 like underneath the, what's that, limbo? I, I busted a limbo move, you know, and I popped right over here and my sister Jen from Kansas City prayed with me and let me tell you how good God is. Every single word that the Lord gave me, I don't wanna say randomly, I don't wanna say coincidentally, I wanna say providentially, God allowed me to pray with those people. People with knee issues, specifically right knee issues, came forward for prayer, my God is good. People with, a woman with a neurological disease, guess what, she came forward, I was able to pray with her. And, and you know what was so funny, you know what was so funny, it was almost as if God spoke to me in that moment, and that's a big word, like God spoke to me, like what does that even mean? You know, I just had this nudge, like a holy nudge, and I had to speak to her in that moment. I said, we are gonna pray that the Lord heals you, but I firmly believe that in this moment, the enemy is going after, it was a neurological issue that she had that was affecting her throat. I said, the enemy is going after your voice. And I firmly believe that doctors can say it's hopeless, but I know that, that our impossible is God's able. He will meet you here. But, 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 but I need you to stop. I need you to stop and listen to this. Even if the healing doesn't come, the enemy went after your throat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep on praising and declaring the goodness of God in the land of living and stuff it to the enemy. You tried to take out my throat and guess what? I'm still talking. Tell him, boy, bye, okay? Uh-uh, but the best part, the best part, the best part, and then we're gonna get into the word. It was so weird. It's like the Lord dropped this name, Sharon, in my heart. And I didn't say it, I don't know if you guys remember this, I didn't say it, but, but I wrote it right here, Sharon. The Lord dropped the name Sharon in my heart and someone came forward and she wanted prayer for her knee. And I was able to pray for her knee, but before we did, Jen asked her what her name was. She said, my name is Sharon. I went over, I said, Sharon, don't move, don't move. I went over to my journal and I pulled it out and I said, Sharon, what does this say? She says, Sharon, I said, you came forward for prayer, but the Lord wants you to know that you matter. He saw you by name, by name. 